What's up guys, welcome back to HMH Team. My name is Ben, your host of course, and today Apple has released a new iOS version. And the one that we're talking about today is iOS 14.6, the official version. So I've already updated my device that you're seeing here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything that's new about that version. Now, for me on my iPhone X that you're seeing here, the update size was quite substantial. It came in at around 4.1 five gigs and i was already on ios 14.6 beta so if you're updating from a different version you could see a slightly bigger update size now let's go into the system preferences and see the software changes that came with this update you can see the new build number that we have and it's 18 f72 this build number that you are seeing here is just an increment of one from what was released on 14.6 release candidate number one. So this is what I have at the time I'm recording this video. So that's the software changes. And now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update. The first one that I have to mention has to do with the ability to update actually. So where in the release notes of iOS 14.6, Apple mentions that you have the ability to update to a release candidate and then later on to like a beta or to like an official version without having to delete your profile. So this is my beta profile. If I had to go to an official version, I had to remove my profile. Sometimes it would work where I wouldn't move my profile, but the release notes do mention that it's actually now possible to do it without having to remove your profile to update to a release candidate and then later on from a release candidate to an official or from a release candidate to an update that will be available then. So that's something that's new and something else that a lot of people have been talking about lately over on Twitter and on the internet has to do with the Apple Music application. So now with iOS 14.6, you now have support for special audio with Dolby Atmos and lossless audio. Those are here and supported with this update. But keep in mind that for certain specific equipments, you do need specialized mixers or equipment in order to listen to some of those. So those are here and it's good that Apple has added them. Now, also something else that came with this update has to do with some new watch faces that we got so if you go into the watch here and go to the face gallery you'll be able to see the new faces that we have and it's pride woven we have the rectangular and as well as the circular so if we select the circular you can see that from here we have the ability to change from circle circle to rectangle and if we have if we select rectangle we have the ability to select rectangle as well as circle so you can see the watch face that i actually have here this is the rectangular one and if you move your crown you can see that it will actually move around and it's a woven strip and let's just change it to the circular one and see you can see the circular one does the same thing if you move the crown it also makes some changes it's kind of cool and the other thing that I would like to highlight is that you have more, more things that you can customize on the circular one, unlike the rectangular one. So you can see here, if you select the circular one, you have all these options, top left, top right. But if you select the rectangular one, you only have the watch face itself. So that's a new thing that came with iOS 14.6, as well as the latest version of watchOS. And now also another thing that I would like to highlight, if you go into settings, and go to the Apple Music application, you have the ability to download over cellular and before that was not available. And also within the wallet application, if you have the Apple card, you can set up family, which is now supported on 14.6 with as many as five or more people. And you can build a credit together as a group or as a family. So that's something that has been added. And the other thing that this update has been talking about for quite some time has to do with podcasts so when you open it up for the first time after updating to ios 14.6 you get a new splash screen and if you click on your profile there you'll be able to see subscriptions 
and you'll be able to manage subscriptions but at this time the functionality of it is limited and more features or changes are going to be coming with time so podcast now has subscription you can choose a monthly subscription or you can choose a yearly subscription i try to see whether they're going to be adding uh, podcast subscriptions to the apple one bundle that you can see on your apple id but i didn't see anything hopefully in future they can sort of create a bundle and add it to the fitness or apple one bundle that we have now also with this update if you go into your settings and you go to accessibility and you go where it says voice control and you set up voice control you can now actually unlock your iphone using your voice so for people who can't use or touch their iphone or perhaps your device is too far away from you you can actually use voice control to unlock your device which is something it's good to see that apple is making all those uh provisions available to anyone that wishes to use them and also obviously if you go into the settings since privacy is a big thing for apple and you go to tracking you can see that tracking is working if it was grayed out for you before then you can always have a look but keep in mind that there are some ad settings that if you turn on then you cannot turn on tracking so if it wasn't working when it was a bug that has been fixed with this update and also if you go into the find my application and select your air tag and put it in a lost mode you can see that you have the ability to use an email so whoever finds your air tag won't be able to get your phone number they will have an email which is less intrusive or less of a privacy concern so you can now set up your email within the find my for lost air tags and also with this update it proves that beats isn't a dead brand as we get beats studio buds icon and new rebranded refreshed um, beats icon so if you have those you can always check it out and those seems to be the new features and changes that came with ios 14.6 let's talk about the issues that were resolved with this update and the first one has to do with the inability to unlock your apple watch using your iphone so if you are having issues before where you have it set up that your iphone can also unlock your apple watch and there were issues those have been addressed and also within the reminders app if you had set some reminders and they were blank and not showing up those have been addressed as well as some core settings where you had some blocked numbers that were able to get through so if that was happening within the phone uh, section here then that issue has been addressed as well as some bluetooth connection issues as well as startup performance issues so at other times you would actually just power off your device and when you turn it back on it would sort of slow down performance so as you can see i just powered off mine but if you were having that issue and performance was sort of slow after restarting your device then those have been fixed with this update now those are some of the issues that this ios 14.6 fixes as well as some of the new features and changes believe it or not at the time i'm recording this video ios 14.7 is actually already out on its first beta so i'm also covering that on the channel on a different device and also we are just a few weeks away from wwdc which is going to unveil the next big ios update which is going to be ios 15 so i'll be covering that here on the channel and if that's something that interests you and you'd like to see then a like will be good and the sub will be better stay safe and i'll see you in the next video